Hey, how's it going, guys? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can generate reports with Selenium Base. So, there are two types of reports that we're gonna look at. First one is the dashboard report, and the other one is the HTML report. The first, I'm gonna start off with the dashboard report. We're gonna generate that, and we're gonna take a look at when you should use your dashboard report, and then we're gonna generate the HTML report to see when you should be using the HTML reporter. So, one of the great things with Selenium Base is that the reporting functionality comes inbuilt with the framework. So all you need to do is pass in your report parameters when you will be running your Selenium based test. So let's see how we can do that. So, so far we have been running a test by doing PyTest and then we would pass in whichever test we want to run. So in this case, let's say I do PyTest dash K and if I want to run, let's say the shop test, so I can pass that in over here. And then if I want to get the dashboard report, all I have to do is just do dash dash dashboard. What this will do is it will generate a dashboard.html report for me in my root directory over here. So let me hit enter and get our test to run and see the report that gets generated afterwards. Alright, so we ran the test and it successfully passed as you can see over here. And we also see the six got deselected because we only ran the first test over here. If I open up this dashboard.html report, so I'm gonna right click here and do open in browser and then just select Chrome. So there you go, it generates this dashboard for me. And basically all it's doing is it's telling me the num number of tests that are passed. In this case, we only ran one. So we see one passing and we can also see the one that are untested and the ones that are skipped as well as the ones that are failed. In our case, we don't really have any of them. And we also have the option to kind of view it in the full screen, print it out if you want or download it as some images as well. Or if you want, you can also download it as an XLS or the CSV file. And over here, we can see the list of all the tests that are part of our Selenium base. So in our scenario, we have this first one, which is this test that we ran and the other six were actually skipped or basically they were untested, like we never ran them. Now, if I run the entire thing, it's going to show me which ones passed, which one failed, as well as which ones were untested or skipped. So let me run the entire thing to see the kind of report that will get generated. I'm going to head back to PyCharm. And here, instead of this time doing PyTest and passing in the individual file, I'm just going to run the entire thing and then I will pass in the dashboard flag here. Okay, so our test finished running and as you can see, there are three failed and four passed. And these failed ones are on purpose because some of the tests that I actually made sure that they will fail so that we can see that on our report. I'm going to go back to the dashboard report and see this time how the report will look like. I'm going to once again do open in browser and then open in Chrome. And here this time we can see the entire report. So we have one field, which is right over here, which is test underscore contact. And then we have four passing and then two untested. So the untested ones are because the before block failed. And since the before block failed, none of these two tests ran. And this is for the home page. And the before block failed while it was trying to actually log in. So that's why we see two untested over here. This is the kind of high level report that gets generated when you pass in the dashboard flag. Now this report is useful if you just want to get a quick glance of what's going on and how many tests passed or failed. Maybe you want to share this with your management. So this is pretty good in terms of generating it for the dashboard purposes. However, if you need a detailed report of actually knowing what exactly failed, see a screenshot of it and as well as get some logs of that too. For that, we can use the HTML reporter. So let's say if you actually want to figure out what exactly happened and you want to go ahead and debug that, for those purposes, the HTML reporter would be preferable. However, if you just want to get a, like a quick overview of how many passed, how many failed, you can generate the dashboard report. So let's head over to our test and see how we can generate the HTML reporter. So for the HTML reporter, we're going to run the test same way, except of instead of doing dash dash dashboard, we're going to pass in the HTML flag here and I'm going to do report.html. All right, so our test finished running. And as you can see, once again, it says three filled and four passed. Now over here, if you notice, we have this report.html that got generated. And if I open this one up, same way, open in browser. So this time the report looks a little bit different. So we can see the reports that are actually the ones that are failed. So these two over here, so this one failed, as well as I can see the screenshot of it. So why exactly that failed? And then if I actually go back, I can see the logs too. So exactly at what line it failed, as well as what exactly happened. So we can take a look at that. Okay, this is exactly where it failed when it was trying to verify the text. And what was the error as well? We can see that over here too. Same thing for the other ones too. We can see exactly what happened, where it failed, 
and the ones that passed over here you can see that over here as well so the reason you don't see the screenshot for these two is because they failed during the before block and for the before block they actually maybe don't show you this uh, screenshots for the ones which actually fails where the test actually fails they will show you the proper screenshot for that in this scenario the test never ran because the before block failed itself so here we just see the error that okay the before block failed because it couldn't find the element that it was trying to look for so there you go if you need to let's say debug your test report.html is really good for you so that you know exactly what happened with your test why it failed and when it failed however for high level purposes you can use just the dashboard to get a quick overview of what exactly happened and then you can maybe drill down later on to the test report so keep in mind you can keep both the reports together you don't have to keep one or the other so you can also generate your dashboard report as well as your test report as well so that's how easy it is guys to generate report with selenium base it comes pre-built so you don't really have to do anything over here you just pass in the right flag and the report will get generated for you so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel also leave a comment below if you have any questions related to this video or if there's some other topic you would like me to create content on as well that's all for now guys i'll see you all in the next one